Good morning, Plumstead Christian. It is December 1st. I cannot believe we are in December and we are on day two of our virtual learning. So we do have a birthday today, but I first need to make a correction. Yesterday, I sadly forgot to celebrate one important birthday, and that was of Susanna Gisandi. So Susanna, I hope you had an amazing day, and please forgive me for forgetting you. I really do hope that your day was wonderful. Today's birthday is Kylie Hughes. So Kylie, I hope you have an amazing day today. Okay, so I'm going to bring back our trivia questions because I have heard from a few of you that you really do like the trivia question. So I'm gonna put that in here. So if you know the answer to this question, all you have to do is email me and I will give you credits in tomorrow's announcements. So here's the question. In the 1984 vice presidential debates, who was George H.W. Bush's opponent? So if you know the answer to that, email me. Okay, we also around here celebrate national holidays, but we also celebrate some not as well-known holidays. And so I thought I would list them for you and you can choose which one you want to celebrate today because there are several on December 1st, surprisingly. So here they are. Today is National Eat a Red Apple Day, National Bifocals at the Monitor Liberation Day, Yes. It's a wear a dress day. I need a dress. I need a dress. I don't own a dress. It is also Christmas lights day. There is one that we are not going to celebrate. We are going to boycott this in honor of Mrs. DeClerico because today is also National Day Without Art Day. Oh, no. Like, why would we want that? Right, Mrs. DeClerico? So the email that sent to you these announcements is also a COVID screening tool that was sent out probably in September. So we have made a small adjustment to it and I just want to make note of it, but I think it's very good for us all to be aware of what this screening tool reads. But here's the adjustment and it's an important one. On the left, it asks you a question and it says, has your child been in close personal contact with an individual who tested positive for COVID-19? If your answer is yes, it says first to inform the school, second to call your healthcare provider, and third, and this is the change, it says, please consult your physician, your healthcare provider, and the school nurse, and they will determine what kind of quarantine is necessary. So it's very important that you take these steps if you answer yes to the first question. All right, guys, let me pray for you. Father God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your patience with us. Thank you for forgiveness. Thank you for our salvation. Thank you for a school that we can go to, that we can also talk about you. Father, what a blessing PCS is, and we're so thankful for it. Be with the teachers and the students today as they do school today. I pray for the parents as they need to get all the things that they need to get done. Father, we love you, and we give it all to you. In your name, amen. Okay, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's announcements. Never forget, God is good. God is in control, and he works all things out for good for those who love him. God bless.